What's up guys? In today's video, I will be introducing the squid fishing setup I've been using to catch a lot of squid either from the bank or on the boat. Let's start from the jig. The jig I've been using is the Yuzuri 2 inch or 3 inch shrimp. I like the smaller size because you can catch the small squid and the big squid on it. And uh, with the bigger size, you may lose the chance to catch the smaller squids. So you may choose different colors and uh, I typically like the pink color the best. It is glowing and you may choose the color you want and you like based on the time of day you are fishing and the water clarity. With the correct jig, the next important thing is how you rig it. The way you rig it is very important to make your squid fishing trip successful. Here's the squid jig and uh, I like to tie a dropper loop here. I don't want to expand on how to tie the dropper loop here because there's already a very good video on YouTube. I'll put the link here. What is important here is the size of the loop. I typically like the large loop because the sh uh, shrimp can move freely along the line. And uh, when you pull it straight, the distance between the jig to the main line is five to seven inch. You don't want to have a very short or small loop because in that way you have the jig too close to the main line. As you know, the main line is connected with the sinker and it's always straight. So you don't want to have the squid fill the line. The line I'm using is a 14 of to 15 pound mono. I choose this line size because I don't want to go too high so the squid can fill it and uh, I want to be not too thin in case the line got tangled. So that said, usually I got more than one squid jig on the same line. And the distance between the two squid jig, normally I'm using one foot and a half to two. And I typically tie three jigs on the same line. The first one, second one, and the third one. You may notice here, so the third one is very close to the sinker, like a half foot. The way I do it in this manner is, I don't want to have the squid jig too far away from the bottom, because sometimes the squid is really close to the bottom. And on the top, I'm using a swivel here. So in this way, you can switch your squid jigs. And uh, based on the condition you are fishing, maybe different size, different colors. So the rod I've been using is a bait caster rod. And uh, this is a medium, moderate, fast action rod. This is not a dedicated squid rod. You may find a dedicated squid fishing rod if you are fishing for squid a lot. And I typically find the best fishing rod for crankbait very helpful because the way it is designed is very suitable for squid, the way of squid fighting. And uh, the good part of the action moderate fast is it can absorb the energy from the squid fighting. So you lose less squid. And I'm setting the drag pretty loose, like several pounds. That way, it's also very helpful to catch you more squid. That means the last squid escape. And uh, this one is from, if you can see it, Fenwick Atos. This is light rod. You can put it in your hand for several hours without fatigue. And uh, you can also use the spinning reel and the spinning rod combo, as long as it's a medium action, uh, medium power, and uh, not fast action. So you don't want to rip the jig out of the mouth or the body of the squid. So I hope you find this video helpful, the information, and please let me know whether it works for you. I'll see you in the next video.